Welcome back guys and thank you for joining this new video since we're going to be reacting to Nuke Top 5's creepy videos. Uh, this is going to be great and spooky hopefully and uh, like we always know it, we always like to decide whether it's real or fake. You know what I'm saying? Dude, there's nobody in my room. That's freaking weird. And just like that, we can fool millions of people. Great! Let's get started. Top 10 ghosts caught on camera. Flipping out. A Reddit user says that his brother was alone at their mom's house when the lights in the hallway began to mysteriously turn on and off. He pulled out his camera and began filming. Okay, so it's doing it again. That switch down there is on. You can see it past my shaking. This one is on, okay? It's mom. See what I mean? It's in. You can hear it. You in. Mom, 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 nope, nope. The mom. mom seems to turn on and off for no reason. But by far the weirdest thing is that when he pans over to the light switch, you can actually see that it's moving on its own. Mom, 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 nope, nope. Currently, this video is being hotly debated on Reddit. Some claim it's a hoax, but many others believe that the video is 100% legit. One user even analyzed the video in an attempt to prove that it's real. But you can check out the R Paranormal subreddit to follow the continuing controversy over this bizarre clip. Helping Hand Aubrey Beatrice was acting in a student. So on that first one, guys, I'm sorry for stopping it. I mean, yeah, what, what could it be, guys? Like, what do you guys think? A fishing line, like you guys said in the Reddit? Uh, no, I don't think so. But uh, what do you think? Somebody can do it from the other side. It can be just a, a hole in the wall and then just moving the uh, switch. But yeah, it's kind of stupid to say that. But yeah, let's see. Let's see what's, uh, let's see what's up. High school auditorium. She was meant to knock on the door then shove it open wide with one push. Go. Now, let's break down what actually happens in the video. Aubrey knocks, then attempts to shove the door open, but it only opens slightly. Then the door just seems to open the rest of the way all on its own. You can see Aubrey reach to push the door open, but she finds that it's already open wide. <laughs> Aubrey seems legitimately confused and a little creeped out. But when Aubrey Beatrice posted the video on her Twitter, viewers began to analyze the video. And then things got even stranger. It almost looks as if someone is hiding in the background just inside the door. Someone who ducks back out of sight when the door opens. But Aubrey says there was no one else in that room with her. So just who or what is this? You decide. Office visitor. And is casting a shot on the wall. I mean, most likely it has to be a real person. Usually, uh... You know, if it's a ghost or something, it wouldn't cast a shadow of itself. In this next clip, the uploader claims that the video was taken from footage on an in-office CCTV system. Something that looks almost like a shadowy silhouette of a child seems to walk through the office. Now, I couldn't find the original source of this video, so, real or fake, I leave it to you to decide. Frozen with Fear Years ago, Tyler Rowe worked in a Kroger grocery store in Powell, Tennessee. He claims that every morning at exactly 9.02 a.m., 
the staff witnessed this at the warehouse freezer door. Freezers, freezers better not rest. <laughs> Is there a light? Is there a light in here? And there's nothing in here. There's nothing, nobody, anything. It's just open. Tyler says that it was every morning like clockwork. At 9.02 a.m., there was banging on the warehouse freezer. Now, if we take a closer look at the door, does that door look fully shut? I used to work at a place that had this door, and that doesn't look like it's fully shut. It might be in just another fake video, but I'm not to say it. That's just my opinion. It doesn't look fully closed. Obviously, you see that little gap in between where the lock is. I'm trying to really see if that lock is uh, latched on or not, but um, usually when that thing is closed shut, it's closed. So what do you guys think? Stairs. Indonesian actress Leah Weod was filming an Insta story with a friend when she claimed she caught something very frightening in the background. Kita lagi mau karaoke, eh karaoke, karate, ya Allah, ya Allah, di Marga Satwa. Wow, wow. Sumpah demi Allah, itu ada pocong, sumpah demi Allah, sumpah demi Allah. Sumpah di tadi di situ, demi Allah, demi Allah, demi Allah, lihat, lihat. Leah claims that she sees a pocong on the stairs behind her. A pocong is basically an Indonesian ghost that is said to be a soul still wrapped in its white burial shroud. Leah Weyold's reaction seems very believable. She actually does seem shocked. But it also bears mentioning that Leah has been an actress for over 20 years. Oh, so he did his own research. So is Leah sighting real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I don't know, dude. You decide. She's an actor. Child's Play. Nuke's top five viewer, Jamie Boggs, works at a Head Start preschool in Montana. Late one night, one of the school's motion-activated CCTV cameras caught something very bizarre. Now, keep in mind that this is an inside playroom, so there's no wind to blow the tricycle across the floor. Also, this was late at night, the school was closed, and no one was in the building. And just my opinion, but that little flip over at the end just makes the clip that much creepier. Night Shift The poster of this next video says that he's a security guard at a college in San Francisco. He says that the ghost of a girl who took her own life at the school is said to walk the building's hallways. One night, after hearing some strange noises down one corridor, he begins to film and catches something absolutely chilling. To me, I'll be like, oh, snap. But I, I, everybody's different, guys. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how you would react, but you think that's legit? Just let me know. So is this a real ghost caught by the security guard at a haunted college? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. <laughs> Raising the roof. Sean Wells began hearing very strange noises from his attic late at night. At first he thought it might just be the wind, but now he's not so sure. Okay, everybody. We're in my closet and I'm gonna do the experiment of 
trying to get this on tape. Uh, my attic, it's right there. Uh, it always makes noise. It rattles all the time at night. I'm not sure if it's the suction of the wind in the attic or whatever it is, but I'm going to try to get this on film when I'm sleeping. So It is around 1 o'clock in the morning, so... the time when anything is on video i like to see proof uh show me the time on your phone dude you know make sure it's really one o'clock in the morning uh it's stupid but we need some type of proof That doesn't seem like wind to me, but who knows? Anyway, after this, Sean decided to just nail his attic door shut. An eerie audience. The Australian rock band Wildlands decided to film their music video in the deserted mining town of Glen Davis. Obviously, the barren and decaying little town provided a very interesting backdrop for their video. The whole place felt very eerie. It actually felt like a ghost town. But the town has a dark past. Many workers lost their lives in the Glen Davis mines. And in the 1950s, a school for priests was established in the small village. As the story goes, one of the priests took his own life very near the spot where the band is filming. As Wildlands and the crew filmed their video, they catch something chilling in the background. It looks as if a man dressed in the robes of a priest is watching them from nearby. When I shot it, there was no one there. I had people beside me looking the same way that I was looking. No one was there. Totally unexplained. When they watched the film back, the band and the crew were shocked by what they saw. I mean, besides the crew, there was nobody, you know, for kilometers around the place. There was just nobody anywhere. Did the camera guy not see that? Because you could clearly see that. When I'm filming, I'd be paying attention to how I film. And it looks like he was just, you know, I don't know if he was paying attention to the guitar guy or not. But, like I say, I don't know. You let me know what you guys think. There was no face on the figure and the face was slightly disjointed from the body. So did the crew, along with the band Wildlands, actually catch the ghost of a priest in their video? Let me know what you think. Didn't even stop anybody. There's no I'm a little uncertain on the source of this clip, but judging by the blurred faces and voice alterations, it looks like it was originally broadcast on Japanese TV. Since Japan has some very strict privacy laws, faces are often blurred on television if 100% documented consent can't be obtained. So, two guys in a room where one of them flips on a light, seemingly to show his friend his new guitar. But the guy filming says that he thinks he saw something begins panning the room, looking for anything strange. Okay. Okay. 
犬は本当だちょっと来てみたもののfakeness and most of them but i can tell you this guys uh i saw a little backstory of something i experienced one time i can't say one time it was several occasions of certain different things um it does happen but it's never recorded when i'm it's weird you know it's funny that everybody who records certain things they're like now nah, everybody got you know cell phones nowadays but um it wasn't that many years ago everybody still had cell phones a couple years back so You know, some of these things don't get recorded because it's, it's things that happen out of nowhere. You know, it's not like, oh, yeah, let me just start filming something, guys. Uh, you know, I just want to film and now we see something random. And uh, but anyway, I saw a um, a white face on this building. I don't know what kind of building it was, but I was walking back home from my friend's house to go to my house. And it was nighttime, which I don't know how I didn't care that it was nighttime, but it was dark in my streets. And um, it was in Long Island. I used to live in Long Island. And uh, it was a tall building. For some reason, something made me want to turn around and look up at the building. I don't know what it was. I'm not lying here, actually. I'm not lying at all. Uh, I looked up like this. And I'm telling you, I saw a white face or just a face, which is weird. I don't know what a white face has to do with anything. But a white face looking down. And I got spooked. And it wasn't spooky season. And I, I started jog oh, I can't say jogging, but speed walking. I looked at, uh, back again, and the face wasn't there. Now, that building was dark. There was no lights on. There was, unless, like I say, somebody can be joking around and, and trying to... But I really doubt somebody's going to be waiting for somebody to pass by because nobody walks in, those, in that street that I was walking. It's usually cars. It's a small road. Very strange. I can tell you that one. That one still has me puzzled a little bit. But um, yeah, let me know down below, guys, if you had anything spooky. And uh, share this video, guys. Seriously. All right. You guys take care. Uh, and see you on the next one.